you cannot share seeds. You have to buy, you have to register as a farmer. And once you're registered as a farmer, you have to buy seeds from a certified seller. Meaning, hakuna mambo ya sio umeenda umeamua kulima eka yako tano, umeamua kulima eka mbili, haya hiyo imeisha. Read the livestock uh, bill of 2024. These people are ni wenda wazimu. Wanataka watu wa register mpaka makuku zao. Where by <laughs> dume jirani kikuja kwako you pay a fine because you're supposed to do artificial insemination. Mnaelewa kitu inaendelea kwa inchi. How, how are people not mad enough? You know anytime you feel as though you're not angry enough kumbuka kuna mtu alikuwa na gonga gonga mlango anasema madhe ni fungulia gate and he was shot dead hapo kwa mlango yao I knew people are not you're not angry enough how is the mother who was in that house supposed to live with herself because she couldn't it's a matter of a minute kufika hapo kufungua gate mtoto amepigwa risasi na wewe unatoka kutuambia tuongelee 2027 how are you different from the person who killed that child because they are also talking about 2027 our future we are, we are still being sold as slaves we are just not the commodity our future is the commodity majama honestly personally wakati wote kuna maandamano i suffer losses but wallahi niko tayari for the next hata kama ni miezi tatu ni si an but after hiyo miezi tatu we live in a country that it belongs to all of us how are you people okay knowing that you're making you're barely making ends meet hospitals have don't ha, public hospitals are basically they're empty ni manyumba tu hakuna madawa doctors are not paid they're all working in their private hospitals the a road people you know you people need to understand that there were generations that had problems people are told to face kina farao ambao walikuwa wanajenga pyramids we our problem is facing people who cannot maintain roads na nyinyi mnaogopa as muslims we are told al amr bil ma'ruf wa nahyi 'anil munkar you stand up for what is right and shun what is evil what is not right so for this for this country Uh, mimi in case na nani kweni yangu mimi just i have two two requests bury me in a flag and visit my mother because this country either itakuwa yetu wote ama iumane thank you so much for your submission uh, ravia before you go yes uh you, you the topic you talked about the seed law act and the livestock bill it has been brought up on spaces but we have a little bit muzzled it because that is a huge topic on its own that is, that's a whole it needs its a, a space on its own pia kuna stories za mining another huge topic rabia kwa hapa atakwambia stories za environment pia hiyo ni space peke yake so right now what i've been trying to do is just focus laser focus on nani nani match and ruto masco Malizana Naruto all these things we have to revisit the civic education has already started the awareness is there some of us are already reading these bills and familiar, familiarizing ourselves with what is actually going on and what these uh, MPs had planned to literally sell the country and make us slaves again in terms of even that seed act I couldn't even believe that they, they're going to patent each and every seed in the country and once you plant you'll have to be getting licenses to plant specific seeds in your own land in your own shamba imagine so you we we do understand what's going on the knowledge share is there these species are happening we are talking and right now they are scared and that's why nane nane is going to be huge it's going to be huge uh paul paul isoba Yes, the Stop. fire is burning. It, the fire is burning. I was dying to get that microphone when that brother talked about uh, the carbon credit, the the the, uh, the all, all the interference of the West. Uh, Bill Gates has been mentioned. We are under attack. Africa, we are under attack. Africa is very very rich, but we have bad leadership. So this reason for Nanane 
match, Luther must go as the beginning point to try to redeem ourselves from this madness. These uh, leaders, they want to enrich themselves, okay? And their families and their children. And nowadays, it's no longer business as usual. It's not business as usual. If it means to die for this, liberating ourselves as Africans, we must do. We are sick and tired of the puppets of the West being used to sacrifice us. They send that they are now, now Ruto has been advised to send our brothers and sisters abroad. Yeah, that now that is one of the reasons why they, they especially the youth should, should come down, the Gen Z should come down. That oh, they being some of them like they, their big ambition is to go and work abroad. And then so that 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 will calm us. No, that's lie. That is false. Why doesn't he send his own children? Let him send his children and then leave us back home and develop our, 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 our nation. We don't want to sell out the best knowledgeable younger youth and send them abroad where we, we still need them to, to develop our, our land. Why, why, am I, why am I very passionate about this? It is now or never that Africans have to fight back, you know? So this is a serious topic, as you say, there are so many topics that mind bills, uh, this, uh, uh, this, this, this uh, genet 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 genetically modified kind of uh, system that they are trying to bring us. There's a lot to talk about, but number one thing, we must get rid of all these mis misleading leaders get rid of them, okay? And we shall not send away Mother Kalua on this platform. Let her bring her number and let we just give her a chance. Let her hear her out. We still need her number. We, don't, we are not asking her to lead us in this, no. We are asking her to be part of this. Even these criminals, let them confess and denounce and then let them resign, resign now. And then we say, oh, Africans, younger youth have woken up now. We are sorry, we, we are misleading you. And we want now to hand over the responsibility to you. We shall sit back and give you guidance where we can. However, you take the steering wheel, okay, and lead us. We are, we, they are, everyone is welcome on board in this Nane Nane match because we still need their numbers. We need people to finance. Uh, uh, we need supporters we need like uh, resources the welfare issues uh water uh everyone need to park their their backpack with with enough plenty of water plenty of our uh, power bank um the nani nani is to do to get rid of ruto must go fast and if he's not left even if we stay there for one month it is going to be worth it and I guarantee you, numbers, numbers are a very, very important thing. With numbers, even those our brothers and sisters in uniform, they are going to join us. They have no option but joining us. And we're not going to let them again murdering us. Yeah? We don't have guns. If they have guns, we are not on a military, uh, military operation somewhere on the frontier, no. We are citizens. This is a national cause. Okay. So they can come there to protect all the paid hooligans that are going to disrupt. Those paid hooligans must be dealt with by the military and the police. However, civilians, Wanainchi, we are going to I'm going to bring my brothers, my young brothers in primary school, secondary school, doctors, teachers. All of us, as one team, they cannot subdue us. They cannot stand, they don't even stand a chance. So right now we should be starting, if not already in Nairobi, in the areas around Nairobi, everyone has packed their snacks, water enough to sustain for one week, two weeks, three weeks, until Luto has gone. And then once that is done, then we shall consider leader, leadership. You know, we shall we, we shall bring on on board Mother Karua because she has numbers. We, we still not deciding whether she needs her. But thank you very much. I have timed out. Thank you very much. I appreciate.
<laughs> thank you, thank you so much, Paul, uh, for your for your submission. Uh, guys, I'm seeing some people there posting on the comment section. They are fundraising for for Nani Nani March. Please, I have we have not or oh, I have not uh, approved. I mean, or oh, sanctioned anyone to put their personal number there for to fundraise so if you send that is on you it is not verified it is i we do not know the individuals doing that in the in the comment section let's be let's be wise let's use wisdom uh alicia welcome to the space hi thank you um so i'd like to say that um the person who spoke right before me was like really making good points. And also, um, I'd also like to say, there was someone who said, if you don't, like you cannot uphold and defend something you have not read. So I think we should all read the constitution because we say Ruto must go, Ruto must go. But I, I really don't think that after a lot of people understand what happens after Ruto goes. Usually if the president resigns, we have uh, the vice president, the deputy president holding uh, the seat for a while. So I'd like to say, like, would you people actually really like, um, what's his name? I th- Like that guy to hold the seat. I forgot, I'd like, what is his name again? Gashago? Rigiji, Rigadi Gashagwa. Yeah, yeah, Gashagwa. Like, would you really like this guy to be president again? Because Ruto is not acting on his own. Ruto has his own army of uh, goons acting for him. So it's not just Ruto that must go. I think we we are um, we're not really like understanding that it's just the whole government that is the problem and the whole government is working for one man and themselves. So I'd really like to say that as much as we're saying Ruto must go, Ruto must go, on the 8th, we should be we should be saying that yes, Ruto must go occupy occupy state house. After that, we have to look for our own leaders. And now we have seen honestly, I I really like did respect Mata Karua until some point, and I feel like after she left here, she left so many questions and answered that I w- I personally would not vote for her because I think she's lying. But we have no other leaders lined up to say after Ruto must go, what happens next? And also our military is not people we can trust because clearly we have seen them killing so many people on the streets. You think our military is going to say, okay, guys, we're going to instill, install a cabinet or a government that's going to work for us and actually trust those people will lead us with uh, with the capacity that we want to be led with. So as much as we are speaking of Nane Nane, Ruto, Moscow, we should be thinking ahead as well. And I know that this is like um, like a wet blanket right now, but I really would like to say that we should be thinking ahead because Ruto could go and we would end up in such a horrible position with people who not only, like they are, tyrants but they also want to kill us as like citizens who said ruto must go so i am i'm really sorry for being that wet blanket very that very wet blanket open. very very wet blanket I'm, I'm i'm really sorry about that but i think we should also be speaking of like what happens after nani nani because i think personally after we remove ruto it's not going to be safe for any of us it's going to be very very safe people. i beg to differ it will be the safest it has ever been like Kenya is going to be so oh, and, safe, and, and, you're going to be shocked. Because right now we're being abducted. Do you understand? And, Do you understand how yes, many people, dead absolutely. bodies are throwing up in the morgue? Absolutely. 245 and bullets. You think, and you think, you think Kenya is friends safe? are going to be safer than him? We're not saying that. Very safe. Very safe. Very safe. Very safe. You think his yes. friends are going to be safer than no, him? No, let me submit to you. Safer safer it's option. going to be very safe. Number one, when you say Ruto must go, it is the presidency. So, if Rigadi is somewhere sitting down, smoking a cigar, waiting for the presidency to be handed over to him, he's in for a rude awakening. We are occupying CBD. The presidency has to go. That's Ruto and his regime has to go. The constitution says it will fall in a transitioning government. 
and then we and uh, before we go for elections and that's why if you had Josephine was saying the government the the military will have to come in to restore order like to re- to restore order because we are marching when we when we're going to be making decisions in real time when we occupy uh, CBD occupy state house we're making decisions in real time so nobody wants Rigiji to come in over here. And then when it comes time to pick leaders, we will make those decisions when we get there. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Right now, this mountain is, it's, our, it's, our plate is full right now. But we know, we know the leaders who have been with us. We can see the individuals who have been, uh, been, been, have been part of the movement. We know the politicians and the leaders, whether they the technocrats, who have been who have integrity we will discuss that when we get there but right now we are convoluting our conversation when you're telling us who are your leaders what you're going to do what you're going to do when we got to, we have to be talking about how many of you mobilized alicia and i i don't differ with that yes. i absolutely do not differ with that and i'm i'm, I'm really sorry if I, I i sounded like i differ with that. i absolutely do not but as you said, the military would have to step in. Do you guys, any of you guys, really believe in the military? Kenya has the most disciplined. They have been killing you, our people. No, 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 no. You, 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 you're thinking of other countries. Uh, the KDF is the you're disciplined, thinking, thinking the most the disciplined. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't confuse the two. Uh, there's the police. The military has never shot a Kenyan. The police, the police are the ones. In fact, we are we feel more safer under the, the the military at this point. The police are the ones who are running rogue. Especially the masked ones who are wearing plain clothes and shooting live bullets at protest at protesters who are holding flags, water bottles, and smartphones. So thank you for for clarifying. And let me just ask another question. And um, I'm gonna give the. Mike, back to you. I'd also like to say that, okay, now that we're thinking of the military, like, shouldn't we also be speaking of how we will stay safe around, like, maybe maybe I'm just paranoid and maybe I've just seen the country, like, go into flames so many times that I'm, I'm just, like, really, I don't believe it. But I really would like to say that maybe we should be speaking about how we're going to be safe in the hands of the military and the police. Fine, the military is not the police. But if they do act in clashes, how are the, uh, how are the people who are going to protest going to be safe? Honestly. And as as much as we're saying, oh, go protest, occupy space, is state house. <laughs> how are you like? How are we going to make sure that our friends are going to be safe, like in the hands of maybe the military, the police? Like, do you really believe that if you are maybe captured today by the military of Kenya, Kenya Defense Forces, or the police, do you believe that you will be safe in any of their hands? But let me just give you that question before I continue. Sure, Can I answer you? Are we safe <laughs> at this moment? Even in, in the current situation, are we safe? That's the mo- that's that's the most important question, first of all, because Hatuko is safe. Nobody is safe. How are you safe when people are plundering your future? How are you safe when you cannot afford medical bills? How are you safe when ed- education has become as expensive as gold? You know, personally, I don't need safety that is that is masked by slavery. I would rather die on that day, wallahi, personally. And I'm not advocating for anybody to come out and kill them. No. But we do not, there's no safety in the current situation that we are in. People actually, we are actually safer on the streets where, where, when they are not stealing from us. I'm here to mute my kiyake and to feedback on background yake. And I irritate my skill. Thank you very much. Anyway, Alicia, let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm sure you're not in the country, right? Um, I'm sure you're not in the country, I right? actually um, I Are you in the, the country? country? Ah, yeah. interesting. Yes. Then why are you scared? Why are you, why are you paranoid? Have you ever gone for these mandamanos? I have, yes. Okay. If you have, I'll fight you scared. Jew, I'll tell you for a fact, it's to make a bullet zime zime pita kando yetu you've seen bodies drop to the point that 
we don't fear anymore. We are numb. To be honest, we are numb. Personally, I'm numb. I've seen dead bodies on the streets while covering these protests. So, me and my 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 my, my boy, this uh, this dude in a, in a black and white avian, it was uh, Escovino Junior. We've seen people getting shot in Tao. We've seen dead bodies in in Tao to the point that we are numb. So, kitu tunataka tu ni change. And if you have to go through that, do to pati you change. Probably you change. The the people who will benefit it are the children and the children of our children. Una get. So, um. Uh, if you feel paranoid in any way, please usikuje tao na kuomba na kusihi. That is your sixth sense speaking to you. Please ka kwa nyumba. If you feel scared, ka kwa nyumba. Do not be lured by anyone or anything. Ka kwa nyumba. It, it, revolution will be televised. It will be televised. Ute, at the comfort of your screen. Chukua remote, chukua kahawa, watch. You will see it. For now... Uh, we are going to look for that change on Nane Nane. We are going to find it wherever it is. And we're not, we are not going to relent. Maze tumepoteza wa se. Adi, 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 watu, watu, watu wali wame wali wako wa manyumba zao. Was the houses safe? Of course you feel it was safe. But wa, bullets zili wapata uko. So that tells you it is not about going on the streets. It is about Kenya not being safe at all. Iyo bullet neza kupatata kamuko 8th floor kwa nyumba yako. Sawa. So, it, at the end of the day, we are fighting for a better country. We are fight. Uh, we, we want a country that our taxes will work for us. We want a, a government that has to be kept accountable. We want leaders that will be kept accountable. We want a, a country that will run the way the constitution permits it to run. Una understand? So, e, please, and, and I'm glad you've said that you're paranoid. Yes, you're paranoid. Sit in the house. And it's not bad to be paranoid. Now, I'm not, I'm not fighting you. No, it's okay to feel scared. Probably you've, you've seen things that you're not used to. Sit in the house, chill, relax. We will fight for you. Sawa. Namta sikupiga ti unaogopa. Not everybody has the same spirit. For us who are confident enough to go on the streets, we will go and fight for you and for the children and the children of our children. Thank you very much. Uh, Western, you want to go ahead? Thank you so much for answering my questions and thank you, um, Ayo, for um, saying that. Thank you. Uh, Afrocentric, thank you so much for uh, giving me another opportunity. Uh, Alicia, I think perhaps it, it escaped your notice. If you read yesterday's daily nation it says that this is a very disturbing story there but some of us have known it it's not news we've known it all along because we follow developments in kenya kenya ranks fourth in africa with the highest maternal mortality burden fourth in africa what does that mean It means Kenyan women lose and what's the conclusion that Kenya is not going to meet uh, sustainable development goals. We didn't meet millennium development goals, of course. We have a problem. Who sets these goals? And why should somebody set us? You know, these are the goals you have to meet. I mean, we must look what is it that is in the best interest of our people. So this carnage, this is carnage already. This is carnage. How can somebody say that they would be unsafe in the aftermath of the collapse of a government that cannot protect human life, cannot protect the life of expectant women expect and mothers why why would non-governmental agencies both in kenya locally and international 
vis-a-vis -vis human rights, you will learn that extrajudicial and summary executions take place on a daily basis. The Kenyan police rank among us the worst in executing people. They don't need protests to kill people. Go to those informal settlements and find out what goes on there. They take you out, summarily. So you are not safe already under the current circumstances. The government cannot protect your life, cannot uphold the sanctity of life, cannot enforce the constitution. How are you safe where there's lawlessness and life is cheap in Kenya already? So could anybody be paranoid and jittery? What will become of Kenya in the event a government collapses? It's already bad for many people. Life is cheap, very brutish, very short, very nasty, pretty much like uh, what you would call state of nature, military. My fellow compatriots, I wish to caution you against the evocation of the military. The military, the police, the intelligence, you can name this NIS people and these people who are, who are abducting Kenyans, wounded people.